Hey guys, so here and welcome back to some more Trails of Cold Steel 3! Man, still can't believe that guy actually wanted them to step on him. <laughs> ah, that was hilarious. Nui Plot. So, next on the list is Nui Plot. It definitely looks the part of a high-end club. I expect they'll have a fine selection of both wine and women. Okay, enough of the sparkling eyes. It's my first time visiting an establishment like this. How about we start by asking some of the uh, questions? Some of the staff some questions. Oh, look at that. Someone's leaving. Oh, look, it's him. Whee! That year, the 1176 Grand Chardonnay was the vine. He's here. What's Marquis Ballet doing in Raquel? Thank you for choosing us as your toast yet again. We look forward to having you forward to your next visit. Oh, it was an absolute delight, my good man. I shall be back tomorrow tom once all that crap has been dealt with. And when I do, you may shout from the rooftops that this here is the Duke's favorite place to be. You honor us, please. Take care on your way back to Woody's. <laughs> of course. I still don't really like him at all. Seems to be a dick in disguise. That guy is supposedly the next Duke Cayenne. Shouldn't he be preparing for the Imperial Provincial Council? Contrary to his behavior, I've heard he's proven himself to be an excellent businessman. He turned quite a profit investing in the construction of a plant in the vine for a company. That's a surprise. It's about the only good thing he's known for. As for the temporary family head, he's mostly known for abusing his power. We'll be preparing the club now for all customers. Try to have everything ready by 9 p.m. Yes, sir. I need to fix my makeup. Um, excuse me. Good evening. Were you hoping to come inside? I'm afraid we just finished hosting a private party. We'll need a bit more time to prepare for our reopening. That's too bad, I was hoping to play. Do you ha host private events often? Not particularly, the Marquis just happened to be a frequent customer. I cannot provide many details as a private of part of our privacy policy, but he has been coming every day recently. Every day? Any useful information would be hard to come by. How should we even breach broach the subject of the Red Constellation? Now, may I ask you something, sir? Are you the Ashen Chevalier, Mr. Vien Schwarzer? Wow. Ah, uh -huh, you surprised me. I was hoping it wouldn't be as easy to recognize in the dark. I've developed a good eye since I started working here. You also stand out when accompanied by such lovely faces. Might I presume, then, you, that you have some interest in our old management? That obvious, huh? Wait a minute. Are you going to tell us about the ogre and her little entourage? You could take it that way, I suppose. The last time they were here was a few days ago. They should be long gone from our kill by this point. Oh, that's a shame. Thanks for cutting right to the chase. It is an admission that they're still affiliated with this location. Not in the least. They were only here to give their regards. I just thought I'd save you a bit of time. It would please me so if you return next time as a customer. It would be both an educational experience for you and a joy to our hostesses to serve one of your status. Eh, quite the businessman. You can count me on me to come back. Excuse us! Angie, you need to pull your jets a little bit. We now know for the certain a Noi Blonde was a once a source of income for the Red Constellation. It's hard to say if they are still affiliated, but that mansion, from my perspective, was sincere. I don't believe he was lying either. What would be the point for him? So, should we put the Red Constellation investigation on hold? I think so. We're short in time, so let's move on. Next is the members only casino, Alicia, which had information on Zephyr. Alright, when are you ready when you are? So, uh, oh. Literally right next door. Alright. Here's where Zephyr was last spotted. In we go then. 
Welcome to Alicia. Would you care to show us your membership card? I knew we need a membership card. What's this? New customers. Why not register with us? It's only a thousand meter per person. If one of you registers, you can also bring friends as guests. That's not a bad price. All right, I'll register. Please, Reen, allow the RMP to cover. Ah, oh, it's fine. He's all grown up. Let Reen show off a little for us. Oh, certainly. Uh, how is getting a card showing off? Oh, I'll get you all set up right away. After a simple registration process, Reen received his membership card. Alright, we are now a permanent member of this residence. We had a thousand million registration fees. So what would have happened had it been broke? Would someone else have actually paid? Oh man, that kind of makes me want to go spend all my mirror. Just to see what would happen. Eh. It's too much work. Um, yeah, no. Turning from the time, this is probably going to be my last investigation of the night. It's any last minute stuff I need to check up on it in the city. No. As far as I know, we've already battled her for Vantage Masters, so yeah, enter. Oh, you coming in? You bet I am. We've got four new guests coming right in. This is really nice. Tell me about it. It's certainly right at home in the city of entertainment and look at how crowded it is. It's a shame you don't have time to play tonight. Well, there's always next time. Uh -huh. Did you get yourself a membership co- Already? Sheesh, she you really gonna come back, huh? Anyway, this is where Zephyr was last spotted. Be careful. Right. Yeah, be careful, eh? So, that old man there has a green mark on his head. What do you gotta do? Hello there, would you like to play? You can make a hundred thousand mirror in a single night, you know. A hundred thousand mirror? And I presume someone here has. Indeed, it was just last year. We had a common individual, I shall call them a walk-in with more luck than most would dream of having. They held fast to one rule. Don't leave this city with a single mirror in their pocket. And so they spent everything they won and more in the club that night. That being said, they were truly in a state of regret upon waking up the next morning. What a lame ending. I agree. It would have made for a better story if they had no regrets. I'm sure most have come across a share of regret thanks to liquor, liquid courage. Not even every day you hear of someone blowing that much at a casino. This might be a good story for Monk. Green got new material for the radio. Hell yeah. Though I wasn't actually expecting that to be something for Monk. But sure, why not? Yo, Monk. <laughs> I've been waiting, Reen. Give me the dirt. So here's what I've heard. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'll send you your prize. Should be there by tonight. All right. That's all we got to do there. I highly doubt we're actually going to gamble, right? That's some crowd over by the poker table. Should we take a look? The Raquel investigation will end should you choose to proceed. Um, hold on. Can I actually gamble? Can I, like, do something with the slots? Nope. Nope. Fine. Ain't nothing else here. We already talked to the old man downstairs. Excuse me. Hey, look at that. It's Zephyr. Oh, yeah. This hand's a beaut. I like this a bitch. I messed up. Say, is it too late to back out on that bet? That's unbecoming of the king, you know. Oh, <laughs> low blow. All right, dealer. Let's get this show on the road. If you would, gentlemen, please show your hands. Full house, read and weep. Sorry, poor of a kind. What? For the love of idiots, you gotta take it easy on this old fart. 
I might have played you a little too hard on this one. A, a royal flush. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, you certainly know how to bluff. You've won all the chips on the table. Sorry, but let me have this one. You still got it, boss. Yeah, you ha had to have been cheating, right? Huh, wh where were you, Zeno? I thought traps were your thing. Hey, you're young. You can bounce back from a lot, too. What do you say? How about the winner buys the losers a drink? Damn it, get off your high horse. Aren't you? Well, hey, nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again, huh? <laughs> Where'd I see you before? Sutherland? You're a sight for sore eyes, Purple Lightning. Yeah, yeah, good to see you, Jaeger King. What? <laughs> You're not gonna <laughs> moan again? <laughs> I'm amazed you can greet us so casually. If he's a Jaeger King, then he's Fees. You would be the head of Zephyr, correct? Long time no see, Icy Maiden. Hmm? Have I seen this other one around somewhere before? You'd make any man jealous being surrounded by such beauties. I know, right? It happens right. every day. What do you say we take this little chat to that lounge by the corner? That is what you came here for, isn't it? Yes, please. Okay, so why does Zephyr get to have voices but everyone else doesn't? Come on, man. I regret what I just said. Can you please bring their voices back? What? You didn't order a drink. The night is still young. Don't be shy about the price. It's all on me. Uh, easy for you to say. Thanks for the offer, but we're in the middle of work. Not to mention, I don't have the balls to get drunk in front of you guys. Huh. Suppose it never hurts to be cautious. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me cry. And that what? Might I ask to bring the daughter of one of the four great houses and the icy maiden to me? I'm not here in, in any official capacity. It would be a waste not to enjoy my kills and nightlife after coming all the way to La Mer. Fair enough. Take a load off then. By the way, I always wanted to thank you for taking care of Fee. That's not something you need to thank us for. We were classmates. Of course I'd help her. Fee decided on her own to join Class 7 and become a bracer. If you got time to thank us, then why not go talk to her? Ouch, you don't mince words, do you? It does sting a little. Still, as we told you on the Pantagruel, we appreciate you looking after her. Alright, do you mind if we get back to business? You're not going to pretend it's some coincidence we saw you here, right? What are you helping w the Black Workshop with? This is really nice. Hmm. <laughs> you don't mince words either, I like it. Now why not ask a little more then? Aren't you curious about what you saw in Sutherland? That shadow! Uh, sure, I'm curious, but why you give me an answer? Not for free. We Jaegers aren't ones to just talk to anyone. Gotta play for it? How about we play this? What is that? Is that a Vantage Master's deck? I think it is. You've been playing recently. Here's the real game. If you beat all of us, we might be inclined to let you in on what you want to know. I gotta play three Vantage Master games? Oh, I'm down for this. What's all that we have to do? You shine a real piece of work. Boss. I'm not gonna back you up if you complain later. We should always give the younger fighting chat. Besides, the reward is always sweeter when you take it by force. So how about it, Swarza? That's fine, I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Yiga's way through and through. Is that okay with you? Like father, like daughter. If that's what you want, I accept. I played Blade, so if it's easy to pick up, I'll join in. The only problem is if I need to make my own deck from scratch. If only this were blackjack or poker. We can't make this too easy for you, Major. I've got two of the Satan deck. Seems fair enough if we use an identical set, yeah. I would say so. 
Let me be the judge for this. We need someone to take a look out for cheating. <laughs> Do as you like. I'll play w one then. I'll play two. How should we do the matchups? I'll go against Purple Lightning. Then I'll take the ice to meet. I guess it leaves me and you. Uh, now, now, don't bear your fangs just yet. Save those for the game. I wasn't expecting to play Vantus Masters against him. Angelica confirmed her decks were indeed identical before allowing the games to begin. Wait, does that mean I'm playing with a different deck than my own? Oh, please, no. I'll play Transmute. I'm telling you, you don't want to use that card just yet. Ch, you're good. I'll use my blaze to power up and do six points against the master. That was a strong move. <laughs> How are you two holding up? They're both good, but the other side's pushing hard. Come on now. Focus more on your own game. You don't want to miss what I'll do next. I activate the Curia Bell card. Damage to all. Oh, I can't lose here. <laughs> you all suck. Oh, well, well, well. Look at that. Ash and everyone else are here. What? What on earth? Just what are you all doing here? <laughs> We're here to rescue you again. No, you're not. It took us long enough to find you. Hey, I remember you lot. See some new faces, too. Nice to see you again, Black Rabbit. <laughs> what brings you guys here? That's our line. We came all this way to find you playing cards? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk later. Okay, then. Let me sub in for you, Valazan. I can turn your game around. Uh... You're doing subs. I know this game to some extent. I'm not quite as adept with complex calculations as you major, but would you mind if I took your place? Um. Hmm. Uh, are you too s serious? Oh yeah, I've hit my limit. It's true that they most likely know the game better than us. You take issue with the change. I don't personally. Nothing wrong with mixing things up. Let's see how you play. Are you two really sure? Well, this is an interesting turn of events. Let's say we start them over with them. Why, why even offer when you're the one to, who's winning? You've been too focused on what your partners were doing. Doesn't make it as fun for me. Let's start fresh and take the game seriously this time. All right, if you insist, I'll even let you play with your own deck if you want. Oh, thank God. I'm sick with mine, of course. Should I keep using the Edgar King's deck? I might send a chance with my collection. Wait, wait. This isn't gonna get this. This isn't gonna be some type of crap where I get more AP if I use the borrowed deck compared to my own deck. Is it? I might need to replay this because it's probably going to force me to use the borrowed deck if I want to get more AP. But I've already said we're kind of screwed on AP already. So it honestly doesn't really matter at this point. So I'm going to use my own personal deck. Well, since you're fine with it, I'll go ahead and use my own deck. Ha, huh, good. All right, what do you want? Are they gonna be okay? I don't know, but what choice do we have? His opponent is none other than the Yanka King. We'll simply have to wait and see. Good luck, kids. And to you as well, Vein. Alright, then let the rematch between Rutger and Vein begin. Here goes! Bring it. I love Vantage Masters. It's fun. Okay, beast. What the hell type of crap is this? Okay, so I go first against him. Alright. Pop you away. I'll keep wall. Okay. I sent one away and I got the same one back. 
Now, I need to see this. Hold on. So, on kill, he'll do wild draw, cost one mana, and he'll draw a card. Counterattack deal plus two damage. Of course. So, do this. Drop you out. Skill. I'll bring you out. And attack the beast. Here we go. Really? I sent out the fish and I got another fish. So what's this? Kill medic, remove seal from target. Restores 3 HP to the enemy if it's got a kill. Okay. I'll pop you out. Skill. Bring out the fish. Attack. The beast. And end turn. Well, now he's got five attack. Definitely don't like that. All right, move my ranger up here. Now let's put on you. Bring down Blix. And I'll also pop the wall on myself. Attack. Let's go with attack. Uh, do I? No. I'll, I'll make him attack me. That way I can protect my blicks in the back. Oh, five to six. Damn. Heal up. Move into the back line. I will attack. Let's do attack while in front row, huh? Take it out. Attack. And turn. Blix, no! Damn it! I think I might actually be screwed for once. Actually, yeah, I am done. Wow. I got screwed on RNG again. My card sucked. I probably would have done better with <laughs> a new deck and a different master. Oh my god. See what happens.
Yep. Okay, so I can try again, so I can't lose? Wait, so I, I have to be able to beat him. I legitimately can't advance. But am I gonna get like less AP now that I lost? I mean, I, I honestly had a feeling I might actually lose to the pick. I just didn't know it was gonna be that bad. Like, Jesus Christ. I was doing fine until I let him have too many minions on the field. Not to mention, again, I had terrible luck with cards. I've never had that bad of luck with cards since I fought freaking Yuna. And me fighting Yuna, I was too stupid to not really be able to pay attention to the fact that I was doing it completely freaking wrong. But yeah, that was annoying. Licks. Pop you down. And turn. I don't like the fact that we lost him, man. All because of freaking RNG. Like, what the hell? Everyone I've played against. Yeah, they've been decent at the game, but they're not at the level and extent that freaking the Jaeger King is. Like, what the hell type of crap is this? Alright, Blaze. Attack. And a turn. A 6 8 being? What the hell? Alright, skill. Clicks. I didn't even pay attention to see if Blix could actually attack it. I just hit the button. Move. What's the problem, Jaeger King? Am I the one getting good rolls now and not you? Quick. How dare you do my strategy against me? How dare you do my strategy against me? Move. Attack. I'm not letting you have any more freaking minions on the field. I learned my lesson. Cause screw you, man. Aw, oh, what's the problem, Yega King? When I'm actually getting good cards instead of complete trash and an entire run, all of a sudden you can't beat me? What's the problem? Huh? Come on. I thought you were good at this game. Oh wait, no. It's just because I had terrible freaking luck on that last run. I never should have lost to you. This deck is the most overpowered deck in the game. At least what I have, all right? It's the most overpowered I have. Screw you. Oh look, AP increased by three. It probably would have increased by five had I used his deck. I, again, don't give a crap. At all. And no, the master had not been defeated. No. I lost. It should have just continued on and just went on its way. And made me have to reload the game. I don't like the fact that I lost to him because of RNG just completely denying me. I don't know why I'm as pissed as I am. Probably because I haven't lost to anyone but Yuna since that last time. 
And it really annoys me that it was him of all people that beat me. All because of not having enough luck. Uh, I won. No, no, you didn't. You lost. Oh man, am I gonna have a freaking. Am I gonna have an actual one to losing since I lost to him the first time? Or is it not gonna count that because I had to beat him in order for the story to continue? Huh. Guess that does it. Yeah, yes. Congrats on the win. But Muse and Ash is still playing. What? Is that all you got? What the hell? Three vanishes for 18 points. You're killing me. How long you been holding on to those? Don't tell me you were. You ain't gonna say I cheated without proof, are you? I just common sense to hold on to your best move till the very end. Ah, oh, I like you. And that's the end of my turn. And the end of the game I lost. I'd say using uptime round three saw to that. You did well to think so far ahead. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I just happened to have good draws. Um, so everyone run. I'm surprised they were all able to make a comeback. Each of them displayed an impressive amount of strategy. Eh, Ash probably cheated, but at least he's good enough to hide it. <laughs> My students won and I lost. Oh, god damn it. I don't like this at all. I'll be. Didn't think all three of us would slip up. Guess I really am getting old. Hmm, it doesn't feel like we've won. Well, not only did my students have to come in and save me, but you gave me a second shot when you were winning. Yeah, but a win's win. I keep my promises. Time for your reward. I'll answer a few questions for you. The thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm going to say on that one. You mean the one we saw at Sutherland? Zector feels like a suitable name for a divine knight. Here's what else I want to know. Including Zephyr, I've noticed four groups in action. That makes you the Red Constellation, Needhog, Need and an unidentified group of Purple Yeagers. What's everyone's objectives here? Um, keep it go going, straight shooter. Figured you asked that. Each core has different objectives, but you could break it down to two sides. On one side, you've got the Red Constellation, those purple Yeagers. On the other side, you've got the Needhog. You've got us and Needhog. They were hired by the government. The government hired Yeagers. That does clear th up some things. And the teams are about in line with what we expected. Just to make sure Zephyr and Needhog are on the same side. But you weren't hired by the government, right? Exactly. We've got similar interests, so we're choosing to back them up. I'll bet you already know who hired us. You probably already know the Red Constellation that's siding with the society. Which brings us to what you don't know. The identity of the Purple Yeagers. Surely you've realized who they are by now, Sarah Valestine. The dead soldiers who, even after losing the Northern War, couldn't throw their pride away. The deserters from the Northern Jaegers. I knew it. Huh? I knew it. It was the old core. The Northern Jaegers. Uh, are they? They're a large-scale Jaeger core, which was based in the former North Ambria state. I was afraid of this, Sarah. <sighs> <laughs> hey, hold up! We won, and you're not giving us Jack besides a name and who's backing who? What can I say? We're fine with letting a little secret slip out here and there. But you ain't earned more than that. I think that's plenty for now. Um... <sighs> screw off. I knew it. I will say, though, those were some solid matches. See you again soon. This was fun. Later. Should the chance come, let's play again. Until then... If this affects my score, I am reloading. I will not have it say one. Never.
Looking at its cards, that was his hand. He could have dealt lethal damage with this combination, and he would have been free to play them at the, at the end. He was going easy on us. Um, that goes here, and this goes there, I see. What, look at his master. Was he cheating too? Exactly, look at his master. What the hell type of master was that? I don't think he was. He's just that good. Well played, Jaeger King. Well, as he said, a win is a win, and we got some answers. It didn't sound like much, but what he said spoke volumes. You should be proud, Reen. You two as well, Muse and Ash. Um, I oh, thank you. Ha, huh, no problem. I should have said it first. Thanks for helping me. But you will explain why you were in a casino unsupervised, I'm sure. <laughs> oh dear, I've suddenly become lightheaded after such an intense match I cannot speak. But wait, we're only here because, okay, we're just as guilty. A at least they were able to help the instructor. Perhaps I should practice Vantage Masters in my spare time. <laughs> you don't get a free pass just because you know how to play a card game. It's fine. Totally. 10.30 p.m. So why are they let kids into a casino? You have acted without leave again and again. Why exactly did you feel it was necessary to chase after Instructor Swarza? That... We have no excuses. Indeed. Major, I've already given them a harsh warning. I think maybe that might be enough. Silence. This is my task as commanding officer. Disregarding the rules and sneaking out is unacceptable. To make sure that's clear, I'm going to drill it into your skulls from now to lights out. Um, I'm but staying up too late is terrible for my complexion. Hey, hey, we're all wiped out, so could you just keep it short? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's a shame, but I suppose it is what it is. Hey, a little tough love having now and then might do him some good. It just feels wrong. I mean, they're the reason we got the info from the Eager King. You can worry about the punishment some other time. Right now we should be focusing on what we learned. Yeah. We're dealing with the branch unit from of Jaeger, Northern Jaegers, people of the annexed North Ambria. It's been half a year since the annexation at an end of the Northern War. Lots of Northern Jaegers were drafted into the Imperial Army. Still, a large number of them were Daywall. That's right, until now, they were believed to have fled from to the Midwest. They never th thought we'd encounter them here in Lemaire. Given that they were wearing a new gear, do you think the society is backing them? Well, they seem to be on the same side as the Red Constellation, so it's a possibility. Damn. This turned into a real headache. By the way, anyone else surprised to hear that the Empire hired Need Hog? They didn't share that information with the OMP. But I hear that the Intelligence Division often hires Jaegers for their Black Ops. Lecter should be able to shine some light on that if we ask him tomorrow. That's enough, Mickey Revelt. It may be off duty, but it's not your place to collect classified government information. Try to remember that you are the foremost representative of the Railway Military Police. Forgive me. A message came in from HQ. You're to be in Heimdall by sunrise. As for the rest of you, you may depart tomorrow morning. It's awfully late after all. Jeez, I know his job is to be stone faced, but would it kill him to lighten up a little? Uh -huh, he's pretty sweet when it comes to his students, really. It's true. He's stuck serving two masters, but he really does try. Seriously, you should have seen him when he first started. He's softened up quite a bit. Is that so? Okay, we've shared the information we learned today with all the relevant parties. Instruct to say I made you clear. Why don't you two take the guest room for tonight? Very well, thank you for your hospitality. That's our Toa. Always ready for anything. Oh, you're too kind. Angie, why don't you bunk with me? Of course, I'm always happy to share your bed. 
Of course. Is that blonde woman gonna show up again? Maybe not. Everyone is fast asleep except for Ash. He's probably gonna walk out and talk to me. Oh, they're both gonna walk out. Many can fall asleep so quickly. You see, it's proof you're a good soldier if you can sleep when you're told. <laughs> I bet they've got a lot to talk about. It's the first time in a year they've seen each other. Each other. It's like me and the rest of Class 7. The moon's out tonight. Maybe I'll go get some fresh air. I'll be leaving early tomorrow, too. So I need to make sure I'm not up too much longer. Okay, so we need to go over there to that side. But you know what? Just in case. Why not? Oh, this Just in case, not... for whatever reason, Veen ends up getting into a battle. He'll have full oh, CP to heal a bit. Just in case. Oh. How do I check that? Uh. No. 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 Nope. Nope. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nope. Alright, let's use a borrow deck this time. We were given the knight. Oh boy. So when the hell does the knight do? Six, four, and three, huh? All white attribute cards gain HP attack plus one in enemies, earth, fire, and the heaven attribute cards each take one damage. Uptide might be good for later on, but right now, no, no, no. I need some lower, I need low cost cards. Okay, so what exactly does the knight do? Uh, kill cavalry order cost three mana your cards in play gain one attack So if I have plus three mana each card in play gets, gets an attack It's honestly kind of nice uh, Restores two HP to the target if you get a kill Kills one damage to a row of enemies on a kill Plus two attack while in the front row Yes Okay, Dharma. Why am I getting sh shafted? Attack. Like, seriously, I'm getting shafted over here. the hell he's got blicks already what the bloody hell is this crap okay three four five summon blicks earth is good against water to attack. That one's gone. That wouldn't matter. Move. Attack. One damage there, but I wouldn't take any damage from it. Okay, so if you have the same element, you can damage the other element, but they wouldn't be able to damage you if you attacked. Actually, no, that's a lie. Because he's in the back line. I think. Let's 
Six damage, Jesus Christ. All right. I want you to attack you. So I can summon a Zamel pen. This one. Plus one HP to cards in the same row. So do that. Attack. Okay, end turn. Yes. Ooh. So deal one damage to a row of enemies. Kill grenade. Plus one att attack for each enemy this hits. Defeat. To do that. Attack. Attack. Okay. Clicks. I'm not attacking with my master. Screw that. Move. I'm not. Lo I'm not losing this card either. Attack. Okay. Enter. Yes. Force you would go for me. Uptide. All water attribute cards gain plus HP and attack one. Three, six, ten. Oh, we have lethal. Attack. 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 Move. Skill. All these skills enable the cards. Match cards consume mana when used. On the other hand, match cards can use a skill each turn. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I should have did Zamel Pen. I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. Why did I? I didn't know that using a. I've never used a skill before. Oh my god. Simple pin. Actually, it doesn't matter. Attack. <laughs> Even with my idiocy, I still won. Wait, AP increased by one. Wait. Using a borrowed deck? Gives you less AP than if you won with your own? It should be harder to win with a borrowed deck than your own deck. So why do you get less AP for using someone else's? You should get five for using someone else's and three for your own. Why? I mean, again, I don't care about AP. I won with his deck, but this is a flawed system right here. 
you should get more for using a borrowed deck than using your own, because your own could be really overpowered and you could never lose. So you giving up the advantage should be able to help you win. More AP out of it. The okay, I'm disappointed in you, game. I'm really disappointed in you right now. Very, very disappointed. Uh, it makes no sense. Using someone else's deck should give you more AP than just one. It makes it harder. It's more challenging. It should be worth more. That's much better. That actually kind of annoys the hell out of me right now. It's worth more. I mean, it should be worth more. God dang it. That's just majorly disappointing. Screw it if we get into a battle, whatever. Why are you... Something like that. It's a summon outside. Those vo these voices don't sound like students. Yeah, Claire and Revel. Uh, Claire is Revel. Claire and Major stick in the butt. It seems like there's someone there. Should I check? Go outside and check. That's enough, Claire. Though you have the Chancellor's protection, your actions today are only going to come back to bite you. Huh. You don't understand, Michael. <laughs> Show <Who's> yourself! <laughs> Too late. Wait, wait, wait. To get out of the train, it makes a loud noise to, for the door to open and close. How did him taking one step back alert them? He's even walked out a little bit. Really? Come on. That was careless of me. Forgive me, I didn't mean to overhear. Mean. Swarza, I don't appreciate your eavesdropping. I've said my piece, but I advise you to really think this over. Unless you want what happened ten years ago to shackle you forever. Again, makes no sense. The AP thing for the borrowed deck makes no sense. And that makes no sense. They should have easily have heard him coming. By the train opening. I had to change that a little bit. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't... I just came out for some air. Well, I've got an early morning tomorrow, so I should probably... Mean. Can we talk just for a little while? I want to continue our previous conversation. And we might as well do so in the light of the moon. Of course, you can tell me anything. You go, Reen. Michael Major Irving is my cousin. Ah, oh, that makes sense. He was born Michael Revelt. I see now. You two do seem rather we close. We were, once. But ten years ago, he took his mother's surname and abandoned the name Revelt. It was after I had the man who took my family away executed. That man was my uncle. His father. Oof. What happened? Perhaps you are familiar with the Revelt Company? They're known for making musical instruments. Well, they were originally located in St. Ark. My father was the president, and my uncle the vice president. The company was doing well. But more importantly, our family was happy. Until an horrible car accident. There weren't many of them on the roads back then. 
A stolen truck crashed into us. Then its driver disappeared into the night. In the end, they never found him. It became a cold case. My parents and my little brother died in that accident. Oh, God. But by some miracle, I survived. And my uncle's family took me in. After my father's death, my uncle took control of the company. Though I was grateful to him for taking me in, I couldn't help but ask myself, why was I the only one to survive? Soon after that, while looking through my father's things, I found the account books. Flipping through them, I noticed something strange. The Revelt Company prided itself on offering high-quality, carefully crafted instruments at an affordable price. But certain entries showed unbelievable spikes in profits. I had a feeling something was wrong, so I looked a little deeper. Each account book I read put things in starker relief. At last, I realized what my uncle had been doing right under my father's nose. He was making a fortune selling cheap, mass-produced instruments from abroad under the Revelt Company name. He even had the gall to commission a product he could sell as maestro class to scam people out of even more money. I knew father must have noticed his brother's wrongdoing and planned to question him. But before he could, the accident took his life. Wasn't no accident. Your uncle had him off. When I confronted my uncle about this, he was surprisingly candid. You've got no proof. And if you did have any, I've got several powerful nobles ready to back me up should it come to that. Even if you talk, the most suspicious part of that accident is that you're the lone survivor. Good luck getting anyone to listen to you. I was angry, yes. But more than that, I was heartbroken. I didn't know what to do with myself. Until he showed up. I was a friend of your father's in military school. I thought the accident seemed peculiar. Do forgive me for allowing you to suffer for so long on your own. Somehow, he knew the truth behind the accident. But the fact that I knew took him aback for a moment. Until he said... You have a gift. Enhanced cognition. It allows you to grasp every detail, great or small, of any given situation in an instant. It must have awakened during the accident. I was going to mete out the murderer's punishment myself, but I've changed my mind. You have the means and the ability. Why not use them to avenge your family? I was petrified when I heard this. Lost. All I could see were the smiling faces of my parents and my beloved little brother. That's when I decided to take His Excellency's advice. I gathered every last scrap of evidence I could find against my uncle. I laid everything bare. The plot, the motive, the cover-up, the perpetrator. I had too much evidence to be silenced. I made my voice louder and louder until it reached Marquis High Arm's ears. Soon after, the nobles protecting my uncle stepped aside. My uncle's judgment was swift, harsh, and fair. He was put to death for his actions. I had my revenge. Did that help you at all, though? But it came at a price. I lost my family and my hometown. As soon as the company was in my control, I gave the rights to a longtime employee. All so I could enroll in the military academy suggested by His Excellency. All so I could enroll in Thor's. Claire. I finally understand both why you hold Chancellor Osborne in such high regard. And why once in a while he's I see sadness in your eyes? <sighs> it seems to me like Major Michael is worried about you. His tone may have been harsh, but it came from a place of concern. You're right. It was sheer coincidence that we both joined the RMP. But he's always looked out for me. Both as a superior officer and as a colleague. Not that I've ever felt like I deserved it. 
I gave in to my desire for vengeance and mercilessly sent my own uncle to his death. Which, to be honest, he kind of deserved, not gonna lie. Ten years ago, my aunt and my cousins cursed my name as I robbed them of the man they loved. I imagine they must still hate me for what I did. I don't think so, not exactly. At the very least, it's clear that Major Michael really cares about you. Everyone who knows you well, even Instructor Sarah, who isn't your biggest fan, respects you too much to hate you. Millie and Major Lecter, Elise in the Princess outfit, you know the original Class 7 and me. Of course, we all hold you in the highest regard. Rain. <laughs> you really are too kind. To be perfectly honest, you remind me of my brother. What was his name? Emil. His name was Emil. Wow. If he were alive, I think he'd be about your age. Emil, huh? Oh, a kiss! Dang! Wow. <laughs> okay, then. I was getting out of the way. The only Emil I know, is, I believe, is from near. Ah. Thank you for hearing me out. But I think tonight is the last time I'll compare you to my brother. Oh, oh my. We're in there. Claire is gonna. This is the last time she's comparing us to her brother. Oh man. It's disrespectful. Both to him and to the man you've become. All right. Good night, Rain. Sweet dreams. Oh, I'll have you having a lot of sweet dreams tonight. Dang, that kiss. I was not expecting that. Yet. Am I dreaming? No, you're not. You got kissed. I'm seeing things. Must have been a mirage, a trick of the moonlight. Dude, you got kissed by Claire, alright? Let it go. Albeit, don't ever, ever tell anyone. Anyone at all. We don't need word getting out that you just got kissed by Claire. Otherwise, Elisa will probably have her vengeance upon you and her. All right, most of the doors are locked tonight. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, the first car door. Wait. Did we come out of this door? Oh, no. We went through this door. Okay, so, yeah, it was the second one. All right. Hello, Sarah. How do you do? What's the matter? I can't sleep. Well, not exactly. It's just that there's so much going on. I need to sort out all of my thoughts. I know how that is. Hey, Rain, how's about you have a little drink with me before bed? Huh. Sometimes a little room to breathe is all you need to sort yourself out. Here, I'll pour you a bit. This stuff will really kick you in the teeth, so you should probably just dip your tongue in it to start out. Oh, you weren't kidding. It's Spiritus. Liquor from North Ambria. Said to be the strongest drink in the world. Guess it's kind of hard to get much stronger than 96%, though, huh? If I'd taken a normal sip of this, I'd already be on the floor. But this thing out of my tongue is turning a little sweet. <laughs> right? I knew you'd be able to appreciate it. Never thought the day'd come when I'd get to talk with you over drinks like this. No kidding. That new Class 7 of yours? They're a good bunch of kids. That they are? Yeah, they've still got a long ways to go, though. I'm struggling as an instructor, too. I just wish I could guide them a little better. They're all pretty unique kids, just like you guys were. But I know things will work out for you. I mean, come on. They were all so worried about you, they ran headlong after you. 
I'm sure they had a bit of a push from a certain someone, though. You already knew, didn't you? Who those purple Jaegers are. Pretty much. Yes, what they said brought back some complicated feelings. At first, I wasn't sure, but when I saw your reaction, That's I knew. So. Guess I've still got a ways to go myself in that case. Back then, during the Northern War, I couldn't do a thing. I spent all my time getting rid of all the archaisms that were let loose on the city. All the higher-ups and Northern Jaegers, the ones who worked with Order Boros, got away. If I'd captured them, Northern North Ambria's government would have called for a ceasefire. I could have stopped the annexation. That's a nice little scenario, Reen. But you know it's a load of bold, don't you? The annexation of North Ambria was done under the Imperial government's orders. Way I hear it, General Le Guin agreed to take the place over to keep the provincial armies from being disbanded. The outcome was decided from the start. That's... In the middle of that farce of a war, you managed to save the lives of tens of thousands of citizens. And the Jaegers you met today? I think they know that. But maybe it was impossible from the start. Fixing a country already being destroyed from within by Jaegers. You probably knew that too. Who? Whoopsie. Well, you see, he was... <laughs> he was my first love. Oh my. Really? Well, actually, he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Way back during the Northambrian disaster, when the salt pail covered so much of the principality in a storm of salt, a man took in an orphaned infant. He was a former colonel in the army and one of the people who founded the Northern Jaegers. As soon as I was old enough to understand anything, I knew that Jaegers who came back with foreign currency were considered heroes. The man who raised me was one of the leaders of the Northern Jaegers, the heroes of our homeland. I looked up to my dad more than anyone. Wanting to be just like him, I joined a juvenile Jaeger Corps at the age of 10. After a few years of harsh training, I was admitted to the main corps at the tender age of 13. It was there that I experienced my first real battle. It was hell. A field of death, where lives are tossed aside to satisfy someone else's desires. There I lived, smoke and blood painted across my body. And there I stayed, eventually becoming the Jaeger known as the Purple Lightning. But after a while, it reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. When I was 18, I was assigned command of a squad. We had a mission near Erebonia, fighting some proxy war on behalf of the nobles. The enemy was Needhog. My squad was destroying them, but just when we thought victory was ours, our efforts to avoid dragging any civilians into the fight left us open to a counterattack. We got hit hard. And then my dad showed up and saved me. Even though he was serving as the commander for the entire corps, he came to our rescue and suffered a fatal injury for it. Do you see now? This is the fate of all Jaegers. You must think long and hard on whether you wish to continue down this path. It could have been because he was once part of the Principality's army, but he was quite the gentleman. Now that I think back, he never seemed to like the fact that I became a Jaeger. Anyway, he left me with those final words and passed away in my arms. I screamed and screamed, until my voice gave out, until I passed out from utter exhaustion. When I woke up, I was in an Imperial army camp. Was that when Instructor Beatrix and treated you? Yeah. Apparently they were there to check on the damage caused by all the Jaegers fighting. Neidhardt and Mueller Vander, who were both second lieutenants back then, were there too. They told me the battle had been over for a while, and all my comrades had already packed up and left for home. Hadn't even thanked them before rushing back to my hometown. And what greeted me when I got there were celebrations and congratulations from my friends and the townsfolk. We had lost my father, 
But we won the war we were hired for. The nobles had given us an enormous pile of Mira. That meant we wouldn't die of starvation during the coming winter. I was relieved, but my tears just wouldn't stop. In order to save my hometown from poverty, I covered myself in the smoke of war and the blood of innocence in foreign lands. Seeing the smiles on the faces of everyone in town and knowing the cost cut me deep. It was right then that I decided to quit being a Jaeger and leave my hometown. I joined up with the Bracer Guild, knowing I could put my combat skills to work and make some decent Mira if I hit A rank. That way I could send some money back home. Money that wasn't stained with blood. I finally understand. The true origin of your strength and kindness. <laughs> I'm not strong or kind. But I think I've finally started to get closer. Little by little. Closer to being like the man I admired so much. My dad. My commander. And my first love. Sarah. Uh, but it makes sense now. The one of you fall for all the silver foxes. <laughs> yeah, no getting around the fact that I've got myself the daddy of all father complexes. But you know, lately I've found myself attracted to some younger guys. Oh my! Huh. Oh man, two in one night. Two in one night. Oh my god. I mean, come on, we all saw this coming. Sarah, sure. Claire, I mean, kind of, yeah, in a way. You got me talking too uh. much. You don't watch yourself. You could make a real dangerous womanizer. I mean, come on. Isn't that all, all everyone's goal is, Reen, to be a complete womanizer? Get everyone to fall for him? <laughs> and oh, and I'll have you Lisa. know, I don't really appreciate being second after Little Miss Major. Oh, my. Wait, wait. Is she referencing the fact that, you know, Claire kissed us first before her? Did they actually add something like that in? Or... Well, with that, I bid you good night and sweet dreams. Or did she, you know... Well, she had... would she say that anyways, even if we didn't go with Claire first? I'm kind of curious to reload just to check, but not that curious. Yeah, yeah, it probably was that, because now we're remembering Claire. What a day. It's not It's not surprising that my eyes are wide awake, but for some reason my heart feels lighter now. I think I'll be able to sleep well tonight. I better head back to my room. Gee, I wonder why you can sleep well tonight. Dang, man. And all the women to kiss you now. Hey, Valimar! I'm a womanizer! <laughs> oh, wait! Valimar can talk! Okay. You know what? I, I... I have to... I have to see it. I have to. I can't see it. Because I'm so smart that I saved over it. And I would have to fight Mr. Big Shot again with freaking Vantage Masters. To be able to see it. I so badly want to say... Because Claire's pro Claire would probably say something about being second to Sarah. Something like that. Being a little jealous that, you know, Sarah kissed us first. So, you know what? I'm, I'm running with this timeline. I'm not going back just to see that. Claire is technically first in this timeline before Sarah. Big deal. Doesn't mean that Claire necessarily will win in the end. Reed, can't get to sleep. No, I just couldn't re resist the sight of that gorgeous moon or the calming sound of the waves. The thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. Hey, Valimar, that's the name Zector ring any bells? I feel as though I faintly remember that name. Ah yes, though only a small fragment I remember something. 250 years ago during the War of the Lions, 
Select the woods the name of the divine knight under the sixth prince's command. Just as I thought. Lucius Rice Honor. He was the pilot of the Pal Palatinate Knight. No, he did not pilot the knight. The actual Awakener was the leader of a mercenary group hired by the prince. He was a crafty individual, but he lent his pa the prince's power. I see. So there's even a parallel between him and the Acre King. But wasn't the Palatinate, Palatinate Knight destroyed by the Vermilion Apocalypse? Correct. As such, it's difficult to say whether the one you saw was the same one or not, but as long as the Black Workshop and the Gnomes are involved, we can, can't rule anything out just yet. Yeah, I wish I had at least knew whether they're friends or foes. That's because they're working against Ordovoros doesn't necessarily mean they're on our side. We'll simply need to pay a close attention to their actions. If we come across any new facts, be sure to let me know. I may recall more information. Can do, thanks. Alright. We've been into every single car except for train car one. And as for good reason, there's nothing in train car one. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next one. But well, who knows? Maybe we'll get kissed by Toa or Angie next. I doubt it. I really doubt it. I really want to see what Claire would have said, though, had Sarah, of, you know, kissed us first. But it's fine. I could, I could honestly just look it up. I probably will do that. So yeah. Either way, we're going to then go to sleep and continue on with the second day. Cannot believe that all this has just been in one day. Oh my god. Now... I think this might be the longest chapter so far. And who knows, the fourth chapter could be even longer. Or it could start getting shorter and shorter till the seventh chapter where I believe the game is over. Then we have the fourth game to play but here's the thing apparently the crossbell games uh, trails to and uh, trails to zero and trails to azure i believe were announced that no. they're going to be translated so i kind of honestly would want to play them first before the fourth cold steel game but the fact that they don't come out until like 2022 or 2023 around there i believe that would be a long time waiting just to be able to play the fourth game, and I don't think I could do that. So yeah, either way, till then, see you guys later.